For 21 years, I've been a practicing clinical cardiologist. And I always believe that not only are we interested in the heart, but interested in the entire patient. So COVID is an infection which primarily affects the lungs and can affect other organs. We often see the patients from a cardiology standpoint because it affect their rhythm and can affect their heart function. However, the most important thing is that it attacks the entire body. And that part of the reason that I became interested is that the true devastation it can cause, whether it be in the lungs or blood clots or other organs, that leads to death in patients of all ages. My stepfather became infected as well as my mother, and he initially was okay, but as his oxygen level deteriorated, we had to bring him to the hospital here in Inspira, Mullica Hill at the end of March. And unfortunately, I think Leroy suffered some of the consequences as we didn't know how to treat this disease, and he spent a total of 15 weeks in the hospital or in rehab before he could finally make it home as he was trying to fight this COVID infection. Over the next six months, I continued to treat patients here in the hospital, but I must admit that during that time, I didn't fully understand the impact of this disease until I became infected right around Thanksgiving time of this past year. During that time, I suffered the shortness of breath, the fevers, and the complete fatigue, which I never truly understood taking care of patients. My symptoms continued to worsen to the point that I needed to come to the hospital as I was concerned about my own oxygen level. And within 24 hours, I was on as much as 15 liters of oxygen and receiving multiple medications for the treatment of the COVID infection. I believe that without the treatment I received from the doctors and the nurses and the entire team at Inspira, I too probably would have ended up in the intensive care unit and possibly on the ventilator. However, unlike my stepfather, the treatment that we have available today was able to intervene and slow the progression of the disease so that I was able to get better and after six days be able to leave the hospital on only a small amount of oxygen. And I've actually have stopped myself to try to express to patients how important the vaccine is. And even just this past week, there's patients that are orderlies, nurses that work in the hospital that are willing to wait and see how things go. But I tried to impress upon them that as we wait, they allow themselves the, the risk of being infected, as well as the risk of not only getting infected, but being able to spread it to other family members. So I made it my own personal priority to, to support and to stress the importance of getting the vaccine and getting it earlier. Because the earlier you get the vaccine, the faster you can protect yourself, protect your family, and we can get back to life as we know it before.